back to my 30th tutorial at last uh, reach the 30th tutorial in this tutorial we're gonna discuss about the decorator the decorator is a function it takes another function and extends the behavior of the later function without explicitly modifying it yeah see now i'm having one method which is called decorator inside the method i'm passing a parameter as name okay inside the function i'm returning on string hi mr con with the concatenation of name now i'm going back to main function here i'm creating one variable so in this variable i'm assigning the decorator method now the decorator method will be assigned to grade now i can call the decorator method with the help of great so i'm passing a parameter i'm passing a parameter as string jayush now i run the program yeah. hi mr jayush now this method as assigned to the great now i'm calling with the great of jayush so this is a string this string is going here in a name the jayush stored here written hi mr and concatenating name mr jayush let's return here at this point I will next say um, I'll give you one more example. Let's define decorator. I'm passing on no, parameter as name. Okay. Now inside the method I'm creating another method which is called func and func method returning the string hi mister. Now creating on variable is called result equal to I'm calling the method func plus I'm concatenating the name. Here I'm finally returning oh sorry here I'm finally returning the result. Okay. Outside the function I'm just printing my decorator. I'm calling the decorator method. I'm calling the decorator method, passing the parameters to issue now in this program you can able to get the clear idea now i'm calling the decorator method it will go here in a name jayush will be stored and then it will go here func method and then it will go here it will not go here it will directly go to the result okay when it meets this line that time it will read func at that time it will go to this method instead of it I am returning hi mister that hi mister will be placed here plus name is jayush so these things will be concatenated and it will be stored in a result and finally in it's returning the result so right now the result comprises the information of hi mister j it will be written here and it's printing hi mister jayush this is a simplified version of decorator and uh, i'm having a for no example for you to make it uh, more clear because uh, more and more examples will make us very clear in the particular topic okay i'm creating a decorator method and i'm passing parameters func okay, here i'm printing going sorry going to, okay and the next line i'm just returning the func in next line now I am creating another method which is called norm. Inside the norm method, I am printing again. It's kind of equator equation. Okay. Now, I am calling norm function. But I wish when I call the norm function, it's supposed to be the decorator method, and then the operation has to be taken. In order to make it like that. So I'm preparing at the rate of decorate. Okay. So when I call norm function, it will go here. It will go to the direct. It will go to decorator. Inside the decorator, I'm having one method name which is called fun. Now the fun is considered as a norm. Okay. Decorator of norm. And in next line, it will return going to. Now it will return. Now func is considered as a norm. So after it is it didn't it didn't it will go here, it will print this text 
and then we'll go back here and we'll come to the norm. I will show you the output. Okay, get I so oh, you great. Going to okay, we should spring a going to and then it'll go here. That means func means norm. So we'll go to the norm method and it will print this it's kind of decorator operation. It's done here and the find it will go and it will go back to the main function. So this is a decorator operation with the help of at the rate of decorator, it's carrying a two methods at a time, decorator and along with the norm. So this is a decorator, a decorator is a function, it takes another function and extends the behavior of the later function without explicitly modifying it. This is we call decorator. I do hope you get a more idea about what is a decorator in my next tutorial. I'll return you back with a different topic. It's uh, file handling. Until that, stay hungry and just try your hard for better tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. See you.